she just wrote it. And even she lived in the United States, she still come back to Taiwan and go to different places to introduce to people about her book. This is Sister Zilun. She used to travel all over the world doing volunteer events. In 30 days, she traveled to six countries. And this is one of the lady in pink is one of the famous uh, TV producer. She's also here to promote the book with volunteer Wang Zilun. She's not supposed to be here, but due to the flight delayed, she's able to come to the Gaosheng Book Club and join with us today. Hi, dear Master, Master Bode, and family member of the world. Hello, everyone. Today, we have brought a new book to share with you, The Joy of Spring. We have invited Sister Wang Zilun, the main character in the book, I asked her, are you coming? She said, I will be there. Also, her husband said the same thing. I will be there. Therefore, the title of this book is called I Will, I will Be There. I'm here as a host today, and my other half is doing their interpretation at the backstage. This book is full of content. I'm learning that your origin family has 12 kids. There are 12 brothers and sisters in this family. Do, I can't believe it, 12 siblings. Do you remember their name? Yes, I do. Do you want me to count? Uh, that's all right. And I know that you're, it's a very big family, but also very tight family. Can you share about your family experience with us? My mother-in-law used to say, I have 12 kids, but end up I have 24 kids total because of their spouse. Wow. We used to have one generation, second, third, now it's to the fourth generation. They live, they are spread all over the world. Every three years, we have a family reunion. Many of my friends say for a big family re reunion like that, it's very hard, hard for people, all the family members to commit it to this reunion because they all travel from all over the world. And every time when we get together, we all wear a uniform or t-shirt. So everywhere we go, people know that we're family. And here are the t-shirt designs throughout the year.
This is a precious picture of four generation get together. Uh, this is my grandmother on her 100th birthday. When she was 85 years old, I bring her with me to the United States to live with me. She lived until 102. Between 85 to 102 years, she never seen any doctor. She was very healthy. My wife really took good care of her. I want everybody to read this book. It's so important. You'll learn the secret of how to have a very nice, tight family for just like this book. It's a four-generation four family. It's very rare. The reason we named this book, I'll be there, is because anytime, anywhere we need her, she always say, I'll be there. There's one year, it's a New Year's uh, Chinese Lunar New Year. I got a call from Las Vegas saying that uh, she passed away and they need a city volunteer to help out. I was cooking at night and I got the phone call. I dropped everything. I went there to Vegas and took care of all the funeral stuff. And the family member can believe that city volunteer will do stuff like that. When they found out that city volunteer did everything for free, they couldn't believe it. I'm also interested that uh, Sister Zilun She's a volunteer for so many years, but you are never part of it. How did you uh, look at this? When my wife started city volunteer 30 years ago, she always listened to the cassette tape, the city cassette tape. Uh, those two set of tape, enlightenment and transition, are particularly moving. And I guess she listened every day, and I was kind of brainwashed by it. We should go out to do city activities to help out others. She's always happy, and I see her enjoy what she does, and I totally, fully support her. So even though the, the brother Lin is not a volunteer at the beginning, but so throughout the year, he's been observing her. Let's hear from him. Like I said earlier, she's always happy doing all the city activity. And my family is a fourth generation family. I brought my parents from Taiwan to United States to live with us. Later on, my dad passed away, and only my mom lived with us. My wife took so good care of my mom. 
到一三一四我去见习培训。And she said that a husband and wife are for life, but a Dharma relative is for eternal life. So I really followed my wife into the world of Tzu Ji. So at the end, you are, you finally come to Tzu Ji world and be part of the volunteer. So if you loved her, you have to be a Dharma relative for eternal life. This is a picture of uh, LA airport. What does this airport mean to you? As you know, LA is usually the airport for my friends and family to travel and from. And there are also many accidents happening around the world. And LA is the country, I mean, LA is the airport that for people doing the transit. I once accompany a family from Honduras who lost one of their family member and family member bring the person who passed away their ashes in the airport with her. So I always go to the LA airport and travel to different countries for disaster relief. You are so brave that traveling to all these countries by yourself, you've been traveling to Honduras, El Salvador, how long have you been a city volunteer in the United States? Uh, a little bit more than 30 years. Uh, here's a picture. Is this a picture of uh, Honduras disaster relief? Uh, yes. I went there to do the goods distribution. And my favorite part is the silent language. Even though I don't understand their languages, but by showing them the sign languages, we're able to communicate and get together. <laughs> how do you, well, since you've been to so many disaster relief, how do you speak, say, uh, I love you in Spanish? And she replied, I love you. And here's a picture of the mainland China winter distribution. Here I met sister from Australia. And because it came so sudden and we will only have a short time to prepare, and I went to deliver the bone marrow and also attend the winter distribution at the same time.
I started the Northridge office in California, and I wanted a place for people and volunteer to get together to share information. So why did you publish this book? I want to tell you that uh, when I first started this book, the pandemic started. So there's no way for me to do a face-to-face -face, face -face interview. I had to do everything online on the phone. And it was very hard, but we completed. And the name of this book is called I Will Be There. Please fix the sound of my microphone, it's kind of loud. Uh, brother, Weida Shishong from Tainan, please come over. He told me that Sister Tsilin is coming. Tsilin就跟我讲,我说你什么时候回去,他本来订的是三月九日,就是今天,所以我就说真的我有今天哦,因为呢,时间文青大爱之音的这个时间可以让出来,我再多五分钟,其他真的卡不上,是这样的音
of everybody holding the book. Uh, 